Over the past few months, I've learned a thing or two from young people about how to quarantine successfully. You've taught me how to make a mean sourdough starter. <laughs> it looks awful. You showed me the Renegade Challenge. Renegade, Renegade, Renegade. Great name, by the way, which I've been enjoying on my Finsta. So, since you've given me so much lately, and so much hope over the years, I want to return the favor and help you make a plan in the upcoming election. You know the stakes for your lives, for your futures, your planet, and because young people have always been the ones to make change in this country, making change this fall is once again going to depend on you. Since we're still dealing with a pandemic, we've got to approach voting just like we do everything else these days. Shopping, ordering dinner, pulling off a surprise birthday party over Zoom. We've got a plan. First, you've got to register. Just go to votesaveamerica.com and answer the quick prompts. Once you're registered, the next step in your plan is figuring out how and when you're going to vote. And there are a few options. You can vote in person. In many states, you can vote in person before November 3rd. That's a great option. You can also vote in person on election day. The other route is to vote by mail. Some places call this absentee voting. You might hear it called voting from home. It's all the same, like Donald Glover and Childish Gambino. Just be sure to check the rules in your state. Now, I know that mail-in voting is an area where a lot of young people might have questions because we're not talking email, we're not talking Gmail, we are talking throwback, vintage, OG mail. But don't worry, I got this one. Here's the deal. A few states mail you a ballot automatically if you're registered, but in most, you've got to request your ballot. So you should do that right now because it might take a little while to arrive. Once you receive it, open it immediately and read all the instructions. Make your choices, then sign it, seal it, and drop it off in a mailbox or a ballot drop box. That's it. Get registered, then vote as early as you possibly can. Now, there are a lot of people out there trying to confuse and mislead you about this election. They're trying to make you cynical. They're trying to get you to believe that your vote doesn't matter. Do not let them do that. Our democracy is a precious thing, and it's up to all of us to protect it. And upholding our responsibilities as citizens is perhaps the most powerful way for all of us, millennials, boomers, Gen Z, Gen X, to join forces. So register, vote as early as you can, and do whatever it takes to make sure your voice is heard in this election. Now that we're done with that, you wanna see my renegade? <laughs>